<sighs> okay. So, first I want to say I was anticipating Forbidden West, like, I had never anticipated a game before, um, but I was still weary of it maybe not being amazing. I wanted it to be, but I was seeing a lot of red flags, i.e. the writer dipping and the reshuffling of leads within Gorilla that handled certain divisions and then suddenly didn't. These things scared me. You know, like, I the I would really love to hear a story about the development cycle of Horizon Forbidden West because I think it was probably a shit show. And Gorilla, like, I love you guys and I appreciate all the work you do, so I'm not trying to talk shit. Hello, Alton. For the record, I know I said rant, but, like, I'm a discussion guy. Like, we can discuss Forbidden West. Right now, I'm just kind of, like, wrapping up, uh, like, my anticipation and the red flags that I saw. But I was still going into it, like, I really want this to be a good game. Like, that was my mindset when I went into playing uh, Forbidden West. It wasn't, God, this is going to be a pile of shit. It was, I want this to be a good game. But when I play any game, it has to prove to me doesn't matter if it's a sequel of a game I loved. When I play a new game, it has to prove to it has to prove itself to me. Like, you know, I I bought the same COD three years in a row, and after that, I do not just buy sequels just to buy sequels. Not a thing. Um, but my main like thoughts about Forbidden West is that. It felt like fan fiction to me. It didn't have the same open world feeling and feeling of exploration that Zero Dawn did to me because of it was explained in a YouTube video by someone with way more followers than me. And he was talking about how, like, the tools that you had to find are effectively different colored keys. And he metaphorically equated the tools that you need to find to actually explore areas are no different than the different colored keys in Doom. And that, to me, like wraps up how I feel about that. And as someone who really, truly appreciates exploring worlds... When I'm exploring a new game's world and I reach an area and I can't explore it further, that's a denial of my dopamine rush for how I play this game. Alton had the same thoughts about the fan fiction thing. Let me see if I can get chat up in here, actually. Let me see if I can get chat in uh in my stream window. Um, shit, where's my chat box? There it is. Okay, so we need to move you, like, way up here. Okay. I think that's as high as it goes in terms of visibility. So, blah, 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 it works. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, like, and I'm not trying to, like, hate on the writer or anything, saying it, it felt like fan fiction, but there was literally a Reddit post basically memeing about the fucking plot of this game, of, of Forbidden West. And we were, at the time, looking at it like, haha, that's, that's silly. Like, they wouldn't do that. So, the whole... Uh, Far Zenith, we've been alive for thousands of years thing, was a jump the shark moment for me. Not because it wasn't possible within the realm of Horizon, within what we knew about Horizon. It was totally possible. It just didn't feel right. I mean, 
it it, uh, it just didn't didn't really feel amazing. And then like another thing that just popped into my head that I really didn't like early on in the game was kind of the introduction of the big bad Regala. Like it kind of felt like a rap concert and then like her and her people are just like watching Aloy fight. And then I really hated how this guy used what we used as a glider as a shield. I think that would be a really fantastic mechanic in the game. Like, you know, a shield that Aloy can bust out for like a second, two seconds. And then it takes, you know, like maybe 10, 15 seconds to recharge. Like, that would have been decent. Would have gotten less people using the rope caster. That's for damn sure. But it would also make people not as afraid to get close to, to the machines in the Forbidden West. Which then leads me to my next huge, major, major, major complaint. Which is, the hitboxes in Forbidden West are legitimately broken at times. Like... And there are times when I've played Zero Dawn where I'm like, man, I shouldn't have gotten hit there. But when I go back and look at the footage, I should have gotten hit there. I did get hit there. I died. Deal with it. Learn, move on. But in Forbidden West, there was just no rhyme or reason at times. Like, a Thunderjaw's head would would wave the opposite direction my Aloy was, and I would even be rolling away, and the Thunderjaw wouldn't even be in my line of sight on my screen. And, like, I was in front of the head before this, and then somehow the head hits me, and it's nowhere near me. And, like, sometimes this worked in in my advantage, where I was like, how did I not get hit there? But there's a lot of weird things, like... uh, Again, another YouTuber, another, like, content creator, whatever, if, if that's what I am, uh, came out and showed footage of, like, a Thunderjaw doing a tail swipe, but when it picked up its feet to pivot, the foot moved, like, 20 feet closer to his Aloy. And then he got hit by a tail swipe that by no means should have hit him. And, like, things like that, it just feels like the game is gaslighting me. Like, I should be dodging this, but I'm not dodging this. Uh, really disappoint. Really, really, really disappoint. So, it's just the plot, like, the plot doesn't doesn't feel right. The world is limiting me. And at that point, I just started not enjoying the game. Like... Oh, another major thing I should put in that I disliked is very early on. And that's when you go back to the platform where the spire is. And you're underneath there. And it's kind of like, uh, hey, you remember these people? You remember these people? These are fan favorites, right? You guys like all these guys that you're talking to that are here right, right now? Even some of them you only spoke to in one mission but these are fan favorites right so they're here are you guys having fun i didn't like that feel because i can kind of i think see what they're trying to do or maybe i misread it completely but it it just feels forced to me like i want to like forbidden west because it's forbidden west not because it references zero dawn all the time and I know that sounds crazy, because, like, of course it is. They're in the same franchise. Blah, blah, blah. But stuff like that, that's referencing Zero Dawn. Like, Aloy's trip from underneath the spire to... Oh, I need to put in my Switch... Or in my Twitch... Uh, massive spoilers in my Twitch title. I'm going to do that right now. Massive spoilers... Because I haven't gotten to any of those yet, but they're common. They're common. So, okay. So Aloy's going from the Spire to the West. And a Redditor posted about this, and I'm really glad they did. Because it freaking irked me early on when I'm already f- not even flustered about keys yet. Or the shitty introduction of Regala. Or the jump the shark. 
like you're at the spire talking to all these people which i'm like yeah i like all these people this is cool but like nah, like it feels forced and then aloy's path to the west is so terrible because it's not a good path to the west but it's a good path if again you want to reference the first game or like get nostalgia bait out of players regarding the first game like, because that's exactly what happened with that cutscene. Aloy is taking this path west that takes her, like, east, northeast, southeast, southwest. No, no, no. So it goes, it goes east, northeast, like, way northeast. And then it goes south, and then west, and then north and that like Aloy is a highly intelligent individual in a hurry. My immersion is shattered watching this cutscene where Aloy has terrible pathing to pander to nostalgia. Like I can't I can't get in on that, you know? Like I just can't. It just bothered me. It bothered me pretty badly that that was that really took took me out of the game and i was like man that's annoying um another combat thing that annoyed the hell out of me that's just popping up is the machines somehow got dumber at pathing towards aloy and the second they can't path towards aloy they just rapid fire spam whatever aoe attack they have and as someone who likes to kind of play as like a hit and run, hide behind a hill, come back out and shoot it at machines player, like especially hiding through the trees, it doesn't work in Forbidden West because they're just going to sit there and spam their ranged attacks. And it's like, okay, I can adapt to this, but this is really annoying. Like, really annoying. It's not fun. Which means I have to change, like, my entire strategy, which I did. I just played more aggressively and leaned more into my ability to dodge. But, as I already mentioned, the game has objectively broken hitboxes unless they're fixed. At this point, I'm not sure. So, I'm relying on my ability to dodge, but the game sometimes just breaks and my dodges don't matter. Which was frustrating, uh, which kind of leads to another thing, like, maybe I just played too much Zero Dawn, but I felt like the machines in Forbidden West were, like, way too telegraphed. Like, none of the machines surprised me. I knew the attacks that were coming basically every time with very, very few surprises. The snake definitely had a bunch of surprises for me. I think that's probably easily the most mechanically complex machine from Forbidden West. Is the snake um, probably followed by the Nessie, the Tide Ripper. I don't remember all these names. I didn't even finish the playthrough. I know what happened at the end of Forbidden West, but I couldn't. I couldn't finish it. Uh, massive spoilers from here on out like for sure i mean there already has been but like super massive here so i got to a quest where okay let's let's bring up beta first so beta is another sobek clone and aloy treats beta like such shit considering her character arc and the things she went through in her life and in the first game, it disgusts me. She's got this, like, machismo, oh, you're weak, I don't want you look. When it's dumb. Because Beta immediately is like, oh, I was educated, and I literally have everything you don't. And together, with both of our qualities, we make one Sobek. But Aloy's like, nah, fuck this bitch. She's so weak. Like, what the hell, Aloy? Come on! Like, 
It was really frustrating, considering Aloy learned what it was like to be lonely, to be an outcast, to rely on friends, and like to for that to be okay in the first game. And then in the second game, it's just like, nah, nah, nah. I don't, I don't remember any of that. I don't remember any of that at all. It's, it's just, it was really frustrating for me. And like, Erend is kind of turned into this idiot drunk when his whole arc in the first game was that he was drinking because of his depression, because of what happened to his sister. And then he gets over that during the arc where he sees his sister and then she dies. And it's like, you have turned him into just a dumb, drunk, comic relief Marvel character. Why? Like, why did you ruin this character? It's frustrating for me to watch to watch the game and to see these things happen. Um, and I didn't like how Varl died. I didn't like that. I saw it coming, and I kind of saw Varl dying, like, really early into the game, and I was like, oh, Gorilla, you better not, but I'm seeing some of the signs and some of the foreshadowing, so please don't do it. But then they're like, it's okay. Varl's alive through his baby. No, Varl's fucking dead. And some other new character that I don't really even remember or care about that much because her whole fucking point is you have Varl's baby, Varl isn't really dead. It's like really frustrating that they took all these characters I grew to like from the first game and it, I just feel like they shat on them. That's why I feel like this is fan fiction. I don't feel like any of the characters are genuine to their growth from the first game or to who they were in the first game. They're just boring archetypes of part of what they were while forgetting about their growth and everything they went through. And it's frustrating to watch. And then, like, on top of that, we had what I call, like, the ubification of the world map. If you're familiar with Ubisoft open world games, there are objectives everywhere on them. Like, like, everywhere. It's ridiculous. They're everywhere. And, yeah, like, that's what they did with Forbidden West. There is shit to do on the map everywhere. I will never 100% a game like that. Because there's a lot of stuff I just don't want to do or enjoy doing. And then they're, like, kind of poorly made, I felt. Like, they don't really feel amazing. They all kind of feel a little wonky. And, like, I don't want to play Gwent horizon edition i don't i don't want to play gwent horizon edition sorry i want to do what i did in the first game which was like explore these fantastic locations and caves that don't go womp womp you don't have the right key to get in here better progress through the story more like literally got to the point where that's all i did was just story and i'm like okay like i the game is forcing me Someone who likes to explore everything and kind of do everything before I do the story, especially in games like this with a hero that's or a main character that's portrayed as really strong, because then I can feel more really strong after, you know, like I've kind of out leveled my opponents a bit and have like decent gear like you feel strong. It's fun. Like, I like playing that game. And it's more because I just like exploring and I'll ADD be like, what's that? What's that? What's that? But with Forbidden West, I, I kind of, like, felt like a broke kid walking or, or a broke person walking through an electronics store, like, aisle with every, everything they want in it. Yes, hello, Hiley. With everything they want in it. And, like, they can't get anything. That's what I felt when new things popped up on the map while exploring. I can't go there anyway. I can't afford to get in. I don't have the right key. I don't have enough money. Whatever. Like, it's the same It's the same type of thing where it's just, like, I am limited. I need to grind, like, more. It's It was really frustrating for me to just be gatekept on exploration in a game where the first one really incentivized and rewarded exploration 
there were no caves that really said, no, you can't come in here yet. There were caves that you didn't know you could go in yet or you suspected you could go in yet. But it wasn't a, no, no, sorry. I mean, except for the ancient armory. But, like, that's a good exception. You know, that's a really, really good piece of armor. Dog was begging for my pizza. So, like... <sighs> Those, those were frustrating. Like, that's frustrating. There's just so much frustration about, about Forbidden West. And, like, it even kind of killed my my will to, like, make videos. And then it made me feel terrible because I had spent a while telling viewers and followers and people, like, oh, I'm going to be making these Forbidden West videos. Like, I'm going to do the same thing I did theory crafting wise grinding-wise, playing the game-wise as I did in Zero Dawn. And then I didn't. And that made me feel terrible. Really bad. As well as being a little crushed by the game. I'm just like, man, like I can't make the videos I said I would for people. I don't know how to explain this. I had jobs, all the excuses. I mean, I'm sorry I haven't been making at least Zero Dawn videos. My computer frustrates me, and I'm in the process of building a new one, so I really just don't see a point in playing any game that I have under 100 frames in. And I know that sounds really snooty, but I'm sorry I see the difference. That's just how it is. So, until I get the new... PC. I'm, I'm not going to be playing all that much. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess I could cover... So, Tilda Swinton's character I didn't really like. Because I don't really like Tilda Swinton. Or was it Tilda Swinton? No, no, no. Sorry. I'm sorry, Tilda Swinton. You are a fantastic actress. I am talking about Tilda, who was played by Carrie Ann Moss. I love the original Matrix trilogy. I do not like Trinity. I do not think she was well cast as Trinity. I do not think Trinity's character is fun. And I think, spoilers for Matrix, the third movie in the series, Trinity took too long to die. Just die already. Next scene, please. No, it wasn't that I felt like I... I, I like, owed them videos or content. It was, it was I felt like... I didn't follow through on what I said I would, and that hurt. That made me feel a lot of guilt. And, you know, like, I, I've been getting comments recently that are even saying, like, hey, where's the videos? What the hell? And I'm like, it breaks my heart. And that's another reason why, like, I just decided I'm going to willy-nilly record this today and post it today. Just so, like, everyone knows what's going on. I mean, I can type in a TLDR even in the comments and be like, look, TLDR, I didn't like Forbidden West. Here's a rant. Some stuff has been preventing me from making videos and content. Like, <laughs> that's that. And if you're at this point in the video, it's probably like a half hour-ish by now. Thank you for watching the whole thing. Um, yeah, Forbidden West honestly really broke me emotionally. And then, like, right after that, too, I started a new, a little more demanding job. Uh, and then I even kind of just, like, broke down for a while. Which was bad. But I'm picking back up. Doing better. And finishing the PC will be, like, a huge, you know, jump. That that feel-good will last a while. <laughs> But it'll also, I'll be able to do what I want to do, which is make videos. Like, I do want to make content. I want to make, I want to finish the Zero Dawn tutorials I always said I would, because I genuinely enjoy making this shit. It is fun. Talking about it and teaching people, like, I enjoy teaching. And then I want to also do Sea of Thieves and either make that a new video or another video. And then, of course, I'm going to do a third channel, which is just, hey, this is, this is these are my streams. Like, <laughs> these are all my streams, uncut, like the whole thing. Here you go. Why not? 
there's probably a, a place for that. But the Sea of Thieves uh, channel will be fun. I'm definitely going to do videos where, like, I teach people things, this, that, or the other. Um, definitely going to do videos where it's, like, a story, the adventure. I didn't even get into Carrie Ann Moss's character other than I don't like Carrie Ann Moss. Well, I don't think she's a good actress, and I don't think her character was acted very well. And I thought it was, like, kind of dumb that they made, like, Tilda kind of predatory towards Aloy. It was like, all right, like, I get it, but come on, guys. Like, come on, Gorilla. Like, if we're jumping that shark that far... I mean, I guess it's not that far compared to what's happened before. Maybe this is just, like, subconscious patriarchal sexism going on right now. No, I, her character is poorly acted, and I didn't like her character on top of that. I didn't like that her character was, like, all about Aloy. I feel like that was kind of a throw at the fans because fans have always been wondering like who's Aloy's love interest gonna be like you guys she's fucking Sobek Sobek never found the time and Abel Aloy is more than busy with similar shit don't even fucking think about her love interest until Gorilla's like this is the final Aloy fucking game this is the end of this struggle we're ending this character another character is taking over that's when she'll fucking get married. Unless Gorilla in like three or four is like, no, fuck you, Psycho. She's going to get married and then it'll make one specific Horizon fan happy to the point. Or if she, if Aloy mar mar marries Avad, King Avad, it will make one fan like super happy. I think that's like the end of the rant. But I'm not gonna, like, finish the stream. Yet. <sighs> Quite yet. I'm just gonna chill. Eat a little more pizza. Cry. The usual stuff. Massive spoilers. I did say some pretty massive spoilers for Forbidden West. Like, all the spoilers. Although, to give Forbidden West credit, I don't think it's the worst game I've ever played. And I don't even think it's like a bad game. It's just more of the absolute fucking same. Like, I know it's only the second game, but I feel like Horizon as a franchise has lost its identity with Forbidden West. I, I really do. And I really hope Gorilla realizes that they fucked up with this one and i don't think they're going to and like i want to reiterate gorilla i appreciate your hard work and and i know that you guys have put in a lot of time and effort and care making this game this is just my opinion i'm not trying to shit on your time spent i mean all of you are basically pieces in a puzzle that is a finished product I'm hating on the finished product. Individually, most most of the things were done very well, if not, like, exceptional in terms of, like, what an individual's role would do. Like, you know, it always look, looked as aesthetically amazing, which is more than just one individual. It's a whole, like, artist rendering team, stuff like that like i will say sorry to the writers i will say that's definitely one of the weakest points um you know obviously the the machine hit boxes whoever coded that is wrong that was it's bad unless it was like intentionally rude with with bad hit boxes and movements that objectively don't make sense for what the machine should be capable of um the music is fantastic uh, in forbidden west the music was great shitty feeling of exploration the combat didn't feel good another thing that i didn't like about the combat actually was 
there's more op more ammo options more ability to fit weapons in your weapon wheel so you can have more weapons but you still feel like your toolkit is lacking than what you had in zero dawn even with like every variant of weapon i just never really found anything i liked all that much and it just like i don't know i did not like how separate like they knew what was good and they just separated everything like you know you can't have bows with like two ammo types you like for the most part you know you need to have like every weapon on your wheel represented an ammo type you wanted basically in forbidden west whereas in zero dawn there are a bunch of weapons that like i have in this wheel where i don't mind every every type like Hard point is obviously what you use or what I use. Like, that's the bread and butter, highest DPS, like, hard point arrow in a striker bow. But hunter arrows, like, I don't need 123 damage to kill animals. So I use a hunter arrow because it basically kills everything but boars. Boars, I think, have like 80 or 90 health or whatever. I need this. But basically, all other animals use this. And, you know, it, sh it saves shards in the long run. Like, but point being, I have a use for every single ammo variant on this bow. On this bow, I use two. On this bow, I only use one. So it is an example of what I don't like in the Forbidden West. But I could have a different fire weapon here with more options. This is just my personal like way of dishing out fire. So like I don't know. Like I feel like I have way more of what I can do. Like these. This is the damage variant, so it's not what this is. The freeze isn't really what you want out of this weapon. This is like a long-range weapon in this kit. But, like, I don't know. It just... I don't feel like I could get the weapons I wanted or the variant or the variety that I wanted in uh, Forbidden West. It just... The weapons never really felt that good to me. I didn't like the aesthetics of the armor, really, either. Like, my favorite armor in Forbidden West is b basically basic clothes from the time of the old ones. Uh, like, I felt like most of the armor is just way, way too bulky and overdone. L like, I appreciate that it looks good. I don't want to run around in a you know, like, celebratory festival costume f that's supposed to be for, like, a year, once a year wear thing. Like, that's what that looks like to me. It doesn't look like everyday wear. It looks like, oh, this is a cutscene special occasion, like, this is what I'm wearing. Which is kind of saying that it's good as a cutscene material armor. Yeah, yeah. But point being, it just is too elaborate for, I think, like, what humble Aloy would would want and would do. And, like, I don't think Aloy would really ever put on face paint to establish herself with a tribe because Aloy's all about no tribalism. That's her whole thing. Like, in Forbidden West, she kind of creates her own tribe. And then she's kind of like, yeah, like, I I'm true to them. But those are, like, her friends more than it's a type of people that she subscribes to type deal like she's not about just blind tribalism you know make your own tribe is the way she feels make your own tribe but it's a group of friends you guys aren't like oh everyone else who thinks differently than us suck no that's not what Aloy wants that's not what she like tried to get but i don't know i've just i'm just frustrated over it it's frustrating. That's a good that's a good place, I think, to end the rant right there. With just it was frustrating. Uh if you've watched up to this point, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Uh I hope it didn't throw too many ads at you. I'll probably turn those off. Although to be honest, cuz I don't really like them. 
and I only enabled one ad option, and there was like five. I was like, holy shit. That's ridiculous. But yeah, alrighty. Have a good one, guys. This is, this is like, I need to decompress from this, because it's actually a very emotional topic for me. <laughs> so have have a good rest of of your day and um yeah take care